guys, it is me Stace. I am back today with another Whatever Wednesday video. I'm also sharing with you guys my design team project for May May Made It. Today we are making a double Z fold card. Looks like that there on the front, then when you open it, looks like that. Pretty simple to make. All right, the first thing you will need is a piece of cardstock for the base. This is four and a quarter by 11. You wanna score this at two and three quarter, and again at five and a half. Same color piece of cardstock. This is one and a quarter by 11. You're gonna score that one at five and a half, and again at eight and a quarter. Same color, this is one and three quarter by one and three quarter. Then you will need some pattern paper. I have one that is four by five and a quarter, two of them that are two and a half by four, a scrap piece, then two smaller ones of a different color. These are two and a half by one. Then you'll need some white cardstock. This one is one inch by five and a quarter. This one is two and a quarter by three and three quarter and a scrap for our stamping. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is bring in this piece here, our four by five and a quarter in our pattern paper. And we're gonna stamp, and I'm using May May stamp set called Sunflower Wishes. And I'm gonna start off by using the smaller of the two sunflowers. And I'm using Stampin' Up! Lost Lagoon ink. It is retired, but any kind of stamp color you have is fine. I'm gonna ink that up in the blue, because oh, I wanted to pull the blue out from the, pa um, the paper here. And just go ahead and stamp all around. We're basically putting a pattern on top of an existing pattern just to pull more of that sunflower in. Right, I think that looks pretty good. We can set that aside. I'm going to bring in my scrap piece of white. And I'm going to grab this, the larger of the two sunflowers and my black ink. I'm gonna ink that up. And we're going to stamp that down. Alrighty, we're going to close that up. I'm also using the Lost Lagoon marker to color in my sunflower. And I'm just coloring it in pretty roughly. I'm not really worried about getting it all even. Just to put some color on it. And again, you can use any markers you like. For the original card, I did use the Spectro Noir markers but I wanted to incorporate more of the of that same blue color and they don't have a stamp pad that matches that. So that's why I went with the Stampin' Up! one. We're gonna be cutting this out when we're done coloring it in. And I'm just kind of doing straight strokes so it looks like there's um, some kind of pattern on the petals there versus just coloring it in. All right, that looks pretty good. Take our scissors and we're gonna go in and cut it out. Now, I'm not one that enjoys fussy cutting at all, but I said before, May May stamp sets have a clean line, making them very easy to cut out. If you don't wanna cut, um, fussy cut it out, you can, of course, use a punch that will fit the stamp set and then go ahead and cut it out that way as well. But it only takes about a minute or so to cut it out. something really relaxing about just sitting down with paper and scissors and going to town. Now, I'm not worried about being perfect. I'm actually cutting directly on the black line. If I show that there's some black line showing afterward, I'm okay with that. If I'm missing black line, I'm okay with that as well. If you don't want to do this, if you don't want to color this in, you can of course use a um, a colored cardstock and do that as well. Okay, we're just about done this one. You see, it only took about a minute or so. I find it easier moving the paper versus moving my scissors. Our last one, right there. All right, that is done. Now we're gonna go back in with that scrap of the same color, and we're gonna stamp the inside of the sunflower right there. And again, I'm doing that same black ink. Ink that up, stamp that down. I'm gonna grab that little crosshair as well and stamp that in the middle. All right, and again, we're gonna cut this one out. This is already all jaggedy, 
So this one makes it really easy to cut out. Okay, that one's done. All right, now we're gonna go back in and I have another scrap piece of paper somewhere around here that I had. Let me find it. Okay, right here. We're gonna grab them two leaves. I'm gonna stamp those as well in that black ink again. And we're gonna cut these guys out too. So a lot of cutting. All right, and again, I'm gonna cut right on the line of these guys. And these are nice and easy to cut out. So there's one, and then this one right here. And I'm this is the same color or the same pattern as that piece there. So it kind of brings the whole card together as far as the colors and the patterns. Alrighty, we are done with all that stuff. Let's gonna set all that aside. Oh, don't, 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 don't lose our leaf. All right, let's bring our card base in. I'm going to grab my film folder. And you want to basically fold it in half, then you have that square mark there, and you're going to fold that one the opposite way. All right, now we're going to start gluing things down. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I get this from MamieMadeIt.com as well. I will have a blog post below that will show you the, all the materials and supplies I've used. All right, we're going to put this one right here, like that. Okay, then we have this one here. I think I might want to stamp on this one. I'm not quite sure. Let me see. Eh, no, I'm not going to stamp on it. And this one here, I did stamp on it. See how I have the little stamps up there? I'm not going to do that on this card. Here. Again, you want to make sure you're even with the top and the bottom of the piece next to it because they are side by side. This piece here is our front. And again, these all measure two and a half by four. Okay, and put that one right here. All right, now we have our band. Go ahead and crease that guy up. Now, if you look at your card, it's going to fold like that. We have this part is going to go in the front. Okay, so this part here, you want to just fold them to where they're going to go. So this part here is going to go right there. So this part here is going to come up. So you're going to fold it like that. Okay, it's going to go here. This comes down, and that piece goes here. So we're going to first go ahead and put glue on this piece just on that one little end and I'm going to put it on my card more toward the bottom than the top only because I don't like going right in the middle I like kind of going off a little bit I'm just laying it out making sure I'm straight all right now we're going to take our little pieces that we had again these are two and a half by one we're going to put them on here so a lot of steps but it really is a pretty card any different kind of card, you know, versus just to kind of open up like a book or a calendar. This one does have a little bit of interest to it. I think this one's a little bit wider. Oh, maybe a tad bit wider. Is it going to bother me? Um, let me see if I can cut that down to be one inch. This is itty bitty. It's only like a hair past the one inch mark. I'm going to stick my bone folder in here to kind of hold my paper down. Okay, cut off like a smidgen. But that smidgen was there. Alrighty. Glue that one down next to it. And again, you want to make sure you're straight with the other one next to it. Okay. We have our white piece that's going to go here. Now, before we put our white piece on, we have the other black piece that's going to go here for the front. 
So when you're stamping, you only want to stamp on that one right side. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to grab the greeting. I'm using the one that says just a note. And I believe I just dropped the little dot, dot, dot piece. I think I know I did. I heard it. That's one piece of this stamp set. I'm telling you, I will definitely be losing because I just literally just lost it. All right. I can't seem to find it. I don't want to hold you guys up by me looking for it. All right, I'm just going to stamp it. And we're going to stamp it in the black. So again, it says, just a note. I'm going to stamp it. Whoops. I stamped my thumb. Did you all see that? All right, stamp it on the bottom right-hand corner. Straight down, straight up. Hopefully I'm straight. Yeah. I'm going to flip it over. Good thing paper has two sides, right? I almost need paper that has like four sides because I'm always messing up with my stamping. All right, straight down, straight up. Hopefully we're straight. Now what side do I like better? Oh, I'm actually going to go with the original one. All right, close that guy up. We're going to bring this over and glue it down. I should have did this in the blue ink. Hmm. I'm actually going to do it in the blue ink. All right, hang on. All right, so I'm going to cut this down to be one and a quarter. Or no, one inch. One by five and a quarter. Whoop. Come on. Okay, by five and a quarter. All right, we're going to bring that over and we're going to color that or stamp that in the same blue ink. I think I'll like that better than the black. Let's go ahead and blot this off here. All right, let's grab the blue ink. And we're going to stamp this in the bottom. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I think I've got stuff on that, so I'm going to grab the wipey. Clean that stamp real quick. I think I had some black on there. All right, now I'm going to stamp it off. I'm going to just dry it a little bit. And again, we're going to flip it over and stamp it down. Okay, much better. I do like the blue. All righty, back to blueing. So bring that over here. We're going to put this right there in the middle. I kind of smudged it right there, but that's okay. Okay, that is on there. Now we want to add our little panel right here. Okay, that's going to go right here like that for our greeting. So I'm going to fold this down. I already have my greeting kind of scattered on my block. It says to say happy birthday. I'm going to ink that off. I'm going to grab my blue ink again. And I have it on there crooked because I know I'm going to go crooked. All right, straight down, straight up. And I'm also, while I'm here, I'm going to grab that same little cross hatch we used over the center of the flower. And I can take this out for now. And I'm going to stamp four of them on the bottom just to add a little bit of something down there so it's not so plain. Like that. Okay. All right, let's bring that back over, fold that over, and glue this guy down. There's a smaller area for our greeting, but I over, overall I do like this style of a card. All right, we're gonna lay that down. And there. Now to glue this piece down, you want to fold the card, fold that piece down, then bring this one over. Okay. We're gonna glue just that end of it right there just a little bit okay like that and then I'm going to just bring it over let it lay where it wants to go and squish it down all right we take our black piece we're almost done guys what am I at for time oh not too bad only 15 minutes I think all right I'm going to put that there like in a diamond shape I'm going to grab my flower and the inside of the flower right there. I have all my pieces. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take my bone folder first and just 
kind of curl that up a little bit. The center of the flower, I'm going to curl that the other way. I'm going to go downward with it. Okay, and the leaves, just through the top of it a little bit, just to give them a little bit of life. All right, I'm going to take my leaf here, put some glue on it, put it on the back of the flower. Another leaf, back of the flower. All right. I'm going to add some little foam squares. I just dropped my pen. I'm going to use two of them on the back of the center of the flower. Okay, again, I had that curled over going the opposite way, so it looks like it's kind of poofy out. Okay, we're going to finish it off by putting four on the back of this guy. I did a pretty card. I really do like this one. A little time consuming, but once you make one, they're really easy. Alrighty, we're gonna lay this right here. I love the way that blue comes off the black like that. Okay, there you go, my friends. Here's the front of it. And you open it up and you have that so when it stands it'll stand like that or you know you can fold it up a little bit get a little bit cr more of a crunch and make it like that but super simple super simple there's that one there there's this one here just different paper and then another one here i made three of them one there but anyway guys any questions at all please let me know and don't forget i'll have the blog post link below that i'll go to may may's blog you can see there all the supplies i've used any questions at all, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.